I'm sure that you know the importance of vitamin D, particularly what's going on right now in the air with those viruses. Vitamin D helps build your immune system, but it has so many other important functions, like helping to get calcium into the bones, helping to build steroids in your body, helping you sleep better, as well as many others. Yes, vitamin D is that sunshine vitamin. And that sun is so important when it comes to our body manufacturing vitamin D. Although there are downsides, too much sun can eventually lead to skin cancer. If you have skin protectant and lotion over your skin, you're not absorbing those rays so your body can convert it into vitamin D. Well, I will tell you to get it from your foods, but it's also very difficult to get enough of it. So therefore, what do we do? And the research has shown that those people who have contracted that virus have low vitamin D levels. That means a weakened immune system, making their body more susceptible to get infection and ill health. But there's something more important. There's one mineral called magnesium. It's the fourth most abundant mineral of the body after calcium, potassium, and sodium. And it activates hundreds of different enzymes that are involved in important biological reactions including the enzymes that play a role in vitamin D metabolism. That's right. Vitamin D cannot do anything unless magnesium is present. And those foods that contain magnesium include almonds, bananas, beans, broccoli, brown rice, cashews, egg yolks, fish oil, flaxseed, green vegetables, milk, mushrooms, nuts, oatmeal, sunflower seeds, tofu, whole grains, as well as pumpkin seeds. But here's the problem. How do we know how much magnesium we're getting from the soils where it's grown? They're depleted. Things have changed today. But medical institutions and hospitals are now catching on. They see that sick people are coming in with low vitamin D levels. And as they increase the vitamin D levels, they realize that they're not all going up like they should. That's because magnesium is low. And now they're increasing magnesium levels as well as vitamin D which patients now are seeing amazing results. So here is the important message. Many people who take vitamin D notice that their vitamin D blood levels are not going up, most likely because they're not taking their supplement correctly. It must be taken with fat or with a meal because vitamin D is fat soluble. So if you're taking your vitamin D on an empty stomach, it's not going to get assimilated. And secondly, and very importantly, because of the fact that probably half the world are deficient to a certain degree of magnesium, by increasing your magnesium through foods or supplements, you will notice that you will not even need to take as much vitamin D and your levels will start to go sky high. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.